So refractive error, first of all, is, is where is the, the focus of the picture, it doesn't focus in the retina. So the image doesn't focus in the retina. It's the myopia, we call short-sighted, where the focus in front of the retina. Hyperopia, we call long-sighted, focus behind the retina. There's a stigmatism which they have two focus, like the cone is like a rugby shape, so there's two focus and make the vision blurry both distant and near, and they have two focus. And the last one they call presbyopia, where at age of 40, 45, because of age, the lens becomes stiffer and doesn't focus, so we had problem with the reading. So refractive surgery is where we change the shape of the cornea or we put implant inside the eye, so we allow the patient to see clear instead of wearing glasses or contact lens. We do a surgery so to get treated to wear glasses or contact lens. Uh, most people, they know refractive laser surgery by LASIK because that's the name which is popular for everyone is LASIK LASIK and it's become popular, it's almost like 25 years the LASIK, so it's not a new, but it's popular that it changed people's perception of refractive surgery to become like a, a straightforward procedure, very safe. So basically when you do laser surgery, either LASIK or laser, the procedure, the, the result is very good, it's very predictable, very precise and majority of us, majority of people, they achieve a driving standard without anything but still about 1-2% to 2%, they may still need the glasses look for driving but we, one advantage of laser surgery, we, we can do what we call top up so after a few months when the, everything is settled because everyone may heal different and refract and that's why some patients who do laser surgery, they may still have a tiny prescription one thing we can do, we can do what we call top up to improve that refining of his prescription to give him much freedom without the glasses. My best advice for a patient who is looking for refractive surgery to search about the doctors first, that the doctor should be had experience with laser vision correction. It's better to have a cornea subspecialty because the laser we do it in the cornea. So better to have a cornea surgeon who know about the cornea and not like other surgeons who do retina or other subspecialty who do occasional laser because that's, he doesn't have specialty in that, in that field. And the second thing is we need to search for the center. So there's too many centers to provide laser, but none, not all of them, they have high quality service. The technology, as we know, we're using high technology for this laser machine and treatment. So the center should be well equipped with the highest technology and advanced way.